What all pathologists perhaps have in common is intellectual curiosity. We are usually interested in finding an answer. You know, we have this challenge on our glass slide that we are faced with sometimes several times a day, and it's a puzzle that we are trying to solve. Pathology is a fascinating field. I see medicine as biology of humans, and pathology is one of the few fields where most of your time is spent thinking about biology, making diagnoses, and making a clear impact on patients. So the um, Anatomic Pathology Residency Program at Queen's is a five-year program. It consists of a uh, clinical year in your first year. Starting in the second year, the, a resident would begin their uh, core anatomic pathology training. We will usually have some responsibilities in terms of grossing, so we do spend maybe a few hours a day in the histology lab to actually gross some specimens. Based on the case, you can sometimes make a diagnosis directly. This is using your microscope, using ancillary tests and clinical information that you have access to. At the end of that, you have roughly two years where there's a great deal of flexibility in the program. If a resident wants to develop um, a research program earlier, then some of that core rotation time could be subbed out for research time. Different residents have different interests. Um, personally, I'm interested in breast cancer research as well as ovarian cancer research, and I've been able to get involved in several projects. So you're taking your knowledge of morphology, microscopic morphology, which truth be told, most people coming out of medical school don't have a great deal of knowledge about. And you're using that skill to, to come up with an assessment, with a conclusion as to what processes at play and to what degree. And that's all critically important stuff. And it's, it's all through visual interpretation. I was so excited about being able to see things under the microscope that no one else could see. And it was just beautiful. The cells, different types of cancer cells. Cancer cells actually quite often look more beautiful than normal cells. It was just really beautiful and pretty to me. I like looking through the microscope. Um, I like coming up with conclusions based on what I'm seeing. That's, that is a bit of an art to it and I enjoy that. In pathology, every patient or every patient's tissue is different. Even when the diagnosis is the same, if it's a simple, you know, well-differentiated breast carcinoma, it will not look exactly the same as another case that you saw in the morning. The diagnosis is the same, but two, three, or four cases that you might look at, you know, in one day, for example, they will all look different. That's why it's so intellectually challenging, because you still have to come up with one diagnosis, even though cancer has many faces, right? It looks different, but you know, you, you are equipped with knowledge and you know what the right diagnosis is. And that's challenging, it's interesting, and it's rewarding. One of the main accomplishments of our program of late has been the dramatic success our residents have had securing high-end um, subspecialty fellowships. So after my residency, I'll be going to New York City uh, to Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center to be doing a thoracic pathology fellowship. And I'll be working with one of the uh, foremost lung pathologists in the world and people from around the world send him cases that are complex and to get his opinion and I'll be able to share in that diagnostic experience and gain expertise from there. I've, I've been a resident here and I've felt it to be a very positive environment to work in, a very supportive environment to work in. What I like about living in Kingston is actually, I would say, the ideal size of the city. It's not too big, it's not too small, you can actually get almost anywhere in 15 minutes. Downtown is vibrant, it has all the great restaurants you would want, it has the entertainment you would want uh, without having to deal with hassle, with traffic, and it's got um, beautiful surroundings, you have the lakeshore, you have beautiful parks and there's easy access to get to the big city if you need to. Everyone is so friendly at work or in the street. It's just, you just feel like you're at home. I never felt like I was in a foreign city or in a foreign country. I've had the opportunity to visit other institutions, do elective at other places, 
And whenever I come back to my home program, I see the great benefits that it offers. The type of people that we graduate are, have the skill set to become leaders in pathology. But I think that even more broadly than that, to be people who contribute to society when they're out, even outside of pathology. What's unique about pathology is that you're at the end of the line of diagnostic medicine. So when no one else has the answer, you have the answer. And although you don't get to see patients directly, uh, you know with every diagnosis that you make, uh, you have a direct impact on the trajectory that they'll see. Um, so it may not be as dramatic as uh, doing cardiopulmonary resuscitation, um, you'll still be saving lives. If you are a curious person, if you are interested in solving puzzles and you feel happy once you do, pathology is probably for you.